Hello YouTube, it's really a, such a wonderful, great evening this evening. I just had to get on here and comment. Uh, we've got a nice moonlit night out, out now. It's about, it's 11 o'clock, nearly 11 o'clock. But uh, I uh, almost feel like uh, going back outside. Uh, I was out until just a little bit ago and a nice moonlit uh moon is shining all up and down the horizon and there's a clear sky and it's just marvelous you know it makes you feel like uh, going up and running up and down the road uh, uh, or running up and down down through the the fields and the and the, and the trees uh, it's just marvelous and uh, i'm just uh, sitting here basking in all of the joy and the ecstasy and all the wonderful things that have happened uh, uh, with uh, the youtube programming and all and uh the things we've been able to accomplish, uh, the joy that I've had of listening to uh, all of the uh, other people, the other YouTubers, uh, such as Tanya Love and uh, many of the others that uh, I could name. Uh, uh, but uh, there's, there's there's so many so many thousands of good ones, uh, uh, good people on on YouTube that, I, that I've listened to from time to time, and and so many good ideas being put out, and it's just a, a marvelous thing, and. Uh, I have so many things that uh, I need to uh, to teach also, which I'm going to be getting into uh, because I I'm going to be getting into it in the next uh, over the next few weeks. I uh, have had to uh, practice for a while, you know, because it it takes so much time just to uh, get the uh, the videos made and get them up on YouTube and all that because of uh, the need to practice that and get the speed up and get used to everything. And so I really haven't got into the teaching much uh, uh, near to the extent. I've got into some good stuff, mind you, but I haven't got into the the really, really, really good stuff that I'm, it's going to be coming up. It's going to really be wonderful. It's going to really blow your socks off. Because you really need to continue to listen to this uh, Spirit of Ecstasy channel because I'm going to really uh, pour out a lot of good stuff. It's, um, we, uh, just in every second i mean every second i mean i'm just here just overflowing with joy and ecstasy just full of ecstasy just wanting to, to jump up and dance and shout and and all of that because i know uh and aware that in every second and in every location every inch of every location of every inch of every geographical spot on this earth and every single <clears throat> second of time and that goes by, all of that contains overabundant energy, much more than we could ever <clears throat> utilize to produce abundance in our life. It's just so overwhelming, and it's uh, ready to flow, so over ready, so uh, ready to flow that we just really need to get our awareness lifted. And so there's a great need to, uh, for me to get on here and uh, continue to uh, lift awareness my, not only uh, my own, not only other people's awareness that are listening, but continue to practice lifting my own. And I, each time I get on here uh, to teach, I'll be practicing the same things I'm saying. I'll be practicing lifting my own awareness. And so uh, it's going to truly be, be awareness because uh, uh, they're just, I mean, there's just oil wells after oil wells after oil wells within every uh, second of time that are just waiting to burst forth. And I mean, this universe is just full of it all, of cosmic power of every kind and energy of every kind. Uh, and uh, we can, we truly have within us the infinite mind ready to express itself. Uh, the total infinite mind is just there ready to express itself. Uh, if we'll just listen, uh, we have to get quiet and listen and let that infinite mind begin to burst. <coughs> begin to burst forth uh, within us. A lot of times uh, it takes a while, you know, because uh, when you first start getting quiet, all of these thoughts that you have on your mind uh, of the things that have gone on, like if it's in the evening, it's the things that have gone on in the day, and maybe if it's in the morning, it's the things that you've got to do uh, that day that, that is on your mind. And so there's always something that's, uh, that's on your mind which is uh, distracting, and so you have to take time to say, uh, sort of one by one, say, I'm putting aside this distraction, I'm putting aside that distraction, until you <coughs> completely are able to 
uh, in a process of time, clear your mind to the point where there's a dead silence and there's nothing else coming in. And uh, I've referred to that sort of jokingly as uh, uh, as making yourself get into the period, uh, into a place of boredom. Uh, and I probably am saying that only for myself because I never do get bored because I'm always full of the spirit of ecstasy and I'm always aware of everything that's going on and uh, how much great power there is in every second and every inch of geographical space. But uh, a lot of people, most everybody will, would uh, laugh and say, well, they, uh, we get bored real easily because, and we're always looking for excitement because we're always bored. And so uh, I sort of jokingly say, well, you need to get yourself into a, a place of boredom so that uh, uh, you can uh, re- begin to receive the uh, infinite mind, things the infinite mind wants to tell you. You need to get into a place of c- complete quietness where uh, there's no other excitement. If we uh, turn on the TV and there's a real exciting movie on, or uh, we have just bought a new car, or we've uh, uh, just bought a, a, a new uh, bunch of electronic equipment, or whatever it may be, uh, uh, that and that's exciting that's it, for that moment. We've got to wait till that excitement dies down. And uh, if we're continually looking for another movie or another show or another uh, gadget or something that we will bring in to continue that excitement all the time, then we're never going to be able to, to come to the point where our mind will get quiet because we're always bringing in the next excitement. And so uh, there has to come a point where we say, okay, I'm going to refuse to let these other excitements uh, come to my mind. So I'm going to turn off the TV. I'm just going to agree to myself to, for 24 hours, 48 hours a week, whatever, that I'm just going to not turn the TV on. Uh, and so, uh, and I'm not going to, uh, uh, get, ex- um, I'm just not going for a couple of days. I won't purchase anything that'll, uh, excite me. And I'll just make myself not have any excitement in my life for, for at least a day or two so that I can get myself really quiet and really bored. And, uh, and then I'll sit down with a blank sheet of paper and, and uh, hopefully, as, as much as possible, get into a, a blank room where it doesn't have a lot of excitement going on in it. And there's not any noise going on, no music going on, nobody speaking. And just uh, say, I'm here and it's quiet and I'm just here to listen. And then uh, have that blank sheet of paper there so you can take notes of what you hear though and then uh the next day go back over that and say okay i heard this yesterday uh what else do i need to what do i need to ask of the infinite mind about what i heard yesterday and you write some questions down there and the more questions you you write down the better off your next session will be uh and so because uh those questions you'll uh sleep on those questions and let those questions Sink into your subconscious mind, and and uh, they'll begin to uh, uh, be a, become a part of you, and and so they'll, the, your question about that will always be be with you, and then uh, every time you get quiet, well, you'll be asking infinite mind again about the the to, to give you the answer to that question, and you'll get the answer to all those questions that you write down. You will get them, and so that's a. Uh, that's just what's so exciting is that I've got all of these uh, just like I have out in my office and uh, in my library and in, also in my library and in every other room. I've got these all here, too, uh, in this uh, area here, bedroom area. Uh, I've got all of these journals uh, full of stuff that, they, you know, I have questions and all that I've written down and then got answers to. And so, I mean, it's just a, a, a marvelous thing what can happen when you start doing this, when you start really journaling and when you really, really start asking questions of infinite mind and then writing down the, the answers as they come to you. And, uh, I, it was so vast, uh, uh, they come to me so fast, it pure and so vast and took up so many journals and everything. So I had to develop a uh, shorthand and symbols and all to be able to compact, be able to pack more into the space. And so now that I'm, I'm going back over a lot of this, I have to take time to 
uh, interpret it all back, you know, so that I can write it out and then I can put it on uh, uh, paper and put it up where uh, people can read it on the YouTube and all. And so uh, that's one of the reasons why that takes a little. It's taking a little little time, and I'm listening to, uh, doing it while I'm listening to uh, Tanya Love and everything, and interpreting these uh, these things out, and then filling them out into another journal that is uh, readable. And so I'm going to continue to be doing that also. But they're just I've just got tons and tons of it, and it's it's a, it's such a marvelous thing, and and such a wonderful gift that uh, I've been given by Infinite Mind to uh, learn how to just get quiet. And ask questions and get answers, and I have a uh, uh, a number of these that I call uh, combination books, uh, books full of combinations. Where I just ask, uh, I started asking. It was back a few years ago, and it was uh, like uh, in, during one summer when it was nice outside, and I had <clears throat> a nice uh, a picnic table uh, all fixed up out on the patio area, out the, with trees was out to. Nice trees all around, shade trees and everything, and uh, I would sit there and I would uh, would let myself just look at the birds and the flowers and trees and ask questions, and I would ask questions of, of God. And I, so I started asking a, asking uh, the infinite mind, what is the combination to uh, greater and greater abundance, and what is the combination? I say, what is the combination to uh, health? In other words, what uh, maybe what I mean by combination, maybe what books I need to read or uh, what verses in scriptures maybe that I need to get a hold of and memorize or uh, what uh, particular ways of thinking and, you know, and make it out like a mathematical formula or a chemical formula where I'd say this book plus this way of thinking plus this verse in some uh, scriptural text or or some some particular uh, metaphysical course or, or something that I would... Uh, and I'd add all of those, add all of, wait, what, which ones of those, and how would I add all those together in order to come up with the secret of abundance, or the secret of health, or the, or the secret of peace, a solid peace and joy, or, or what would be the, you know, what would be the combination A, B, C, D, and E of, uh, say maybe it might be five books, or maybe it might be one book and one, uh, great. Uh, saying by some famous person or maybe it might be uh, <clears throat> one of the principles in thinking grow rich or it might be a uh, magic of thinking big or it might be some what some particular uh, listening listen to some particular uh, person on YouTube or or somebody you know uh, might even be listening to Tanya Love on YouTube you know that might be one combination to well I'm sure it was it, would, would be a, a part of a combination to receiving abundance and happiness in your life to, to listen to her and uh, listen to uh, my program too, you know, and, and you could put that down as part of the combination uh, as well as uh, other books, books which which been recommended by myself and by her uh, uh, getting into the vortex. You could write that down as A, getting into the vortex but by uh, Jerry uh, uh, Jerry Esther and Jerry Hicks as as uh, A, you know where you have A plus B plus C plus D plus C being a combination to getting abundance. You could put that down as number A, and then you could put down uh, what I like at uh, John seven thirty eight. Uh, out of your innermost being, he that cometh unto me, which means come to infinite mind, realize the infinite mind within. Uh, he, out of his innermost being will flow rivers of of, of living water, which is really. Uh, immortal immortality and immortal ideas and infinite ideas and infinite health and all that joy and infinite joy and abundance and energy and all that it's going to be flowing out of you well you could put that down as number b and then maybe you could put down the uh 12 principles in uh think and grow rich is uh c you know persistence desire uh, uh the six developing the sixth sense and then you could maybe put down a taking a course maybe dale carnegie courses d and then maybe uh, take a, 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 a metaphysical course like the uh, Institute of Religious Science. They offer courses in uh, that's based on that textbook, Science of Mind, by uh, uh, the book called uh, Science of Mind. And then there's that the uh, Infinite uh, Mind book. Uh, Ernest Holmes, Ernest Holmes writes Science of Mind, and then Joel S. Goldsmith, The Infinite Mind. And you could do, put those down as, as part of a combination also. 
So I'll see you then.